Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to explain you a dual starter with a sequence timer. The only difference uh, with my previous video is that in that uh, I've explained you about the purifier exhaust fan in which no timer was there. So if you want, you can watch that video. This is the video and uh, in this, uh, we'll shortly go through how this timer function. I will take an example of number 3 engine room of supply fan and we'll see how this timer uh, play a role in this starter. So let's start. Uh, as you know, this is a bus bar from main, main switchboard L1, L2, L3, 440 is coming. This is a circuit breaker. In this we have a shunt coil, coil for trip, uh, most likely for your emergency stop or for any uh, preferential trips. So if you want to trip it remotely, uh, this shunt coil is used. So from here the 440 is coming and it is waiting till here because this gate is open, this KO. Once your KO main contactor, you can see here, I have written, this will get energized, then only this will get closed. So 440 is coming here and it is waiting here. Once this is closed, this will directly go to the motor and the motor will start running. This is a thermal relay which measures your current. And based on your current, let's say if it is drawing high current, based on the setting, um, this is going to open, thermal relay will get open and your power for main conductor will get close. So I think this power circuit is clear because the main power 440 is going, reaching till here. Now we'll see the control circuit. The two tapping, it is connected to the breaker. Here we have a breaker. and after the breaker we have a transformer which convert 440 to 230 and from here we have a two connection one it is going like this to thermal relay and then to the thermal relay and to the main conductor and this is your timer and the other connection is for this is your space heater for the motor so here it goes to the circuit breaker and then you have on off switch for heater and this is a KO contact, which is your auxiliary contact of KO, main contactor. This is also a switch. Okay, same switch. This is the same breaker, circuit breaker. So two side, 220 is coming for your space heater. And this is the lamp. So now 220 is coming till here. And this is normally close. But you can see here, uh, this is a contact of timer. And this, you can see this is normally open. So the power will go like this and it will energize this because there is no obstruction coming from this side. So as soon as this breaker is connected, this timer will get energized and your timer is having 20 seconds of delay. This is on delay timer. So what it will do? So what it will do? Once your breaker is connected and directly the power is coming to this timer, this timer after 20 seconds, this will close this contact. So after 20 seconds only, the power will reach here. Once the power reaches here after 20 seconds, then only if you switch, this is an on-off switch. This is not a push button. This is an on-off switch. So once you turn the switch to run position, then only the power will go to KO contact. So once this KO contact will get energized, what will happen? Firstly, it will stop your space heater. This will open. Okay. Your uh, normally open contact will become normally closed. And normally closed contact will become normally open. Once this KO coil will energize. So this energizes. This will get open. This will get closed. You can see here, there is no holding contact. Like in my previous uh, purifier room exhaust fan uh, starter, you we have a holding contact. Just parallel to this but in this we have an on off switch because if you put in a run and leave it it will be always in run uh, run position so, so if you turn on the run switch it will always be connected and the power will be going here now let's see um, the role of this timer in this we don't have holding contact so the if you place the switch in run condition all it will be always in run condition and your conductor will get energized and your motor will be running. Let's say we are testing uh, 
emergency stop or let's say if there is a blackout and after the blackout uh, if you have the power in your bus bar suddenly one generator start and there is a power in bus bar then what will happen to avoid all the motors or blower to run at one time they have given this timer so what this timer will do once the power comes in bus bar this will wait for 20 second then only it will start you can manually off it but let's say you forgot to off it let's uh, we say like four blowers are there in the engine room and all are in run condition and you forgot to off them so four are, if four are going to start at one time there will be a load on generator to avoid that they have given a timer so like let's say this is having 20 second the other one will be having uh, 25 second others uh, will be like 30 second so there will be a time gap of few second at one time many starters are not going to uh, give load to the bus bar so this is the role of this timer in this contact and this is very simple so i hope uh, you get to know something uh, see you in the next video uh, with more starter do like and subscribe my channel uh, see you in the next video bye take care